A High Court judge rejected the contention of former MP and retired Ambassador Chang Haiding that he was the sole owner of a Bilster shop house that his son's former wife has claimed is a matrimonial asset. The conservation shop house in Mataban Road was bought in December 2009 for $2.1 million and registered in Dr. Chang's name. He put down $300,000 towards the down payment, while his son Jun An paid $520,000 and took out a $1.28 million mortgage. At the time, rules stipulating that the borrower must also be the mortgager had not yet come about. Miss Sabrina Tan, who married Mr. Chang, Jun An in December 2011 and filed for divorce in October 2020, had sued father and son in the High Court over the ownership of the shop house. The suit arose out of disagreement in ongoing divorce proceedings over whether the shop house, now estimated to be worth between $3 million and $4 million, falls within the pool of matrimonial assets to be divided. In a written judgment on Thursday, Justice Hu Shoupang said she had no hesitation in dismissing the Chang's narrative that Jun An had bought the property as a gift to his father because he wanted to help the older man realize his dream of living in a shop house. However, the judge also found insufficient evidence to support Ms. Tan's main contention that Dr. Chang was holding the property on trust for the couple. Ms. Tan, who was represented by Ms. Melanie Ho, Mr. Gavin Neo and Ms. Jolin Ku said the property was bought in Dr. Chang's name because the couple could not buy private property in their own names. This was due to the five-year minimum occupation period MOP after their purchase of a housing board flat at Pinnacle at Duxton. Justice who ruled that, given the financial contributions towards the purchase price, Dr. Chang was the beneficial owner of 14.29% of the shop house and was holding the other 85. 71% on trust for his son. Whether Mr. Chang's 85.71% stake in the shop house forms part of the pool of matrimonial assets to be divided will be separately determined in the divorce proceedings. Justice Hu concluded from the evidence that, in happier times, the couple desired to own a shop house and Dr. Chang helped by allowing the property to be registered in his name. Given that she was about to marry Mr. Chang, Ms. Tan did not object to the arrangement, the judge surmised. In fact, Ms. Tan was involved in the acquisition of the property and in taking care of the property after its purchase. As it transpired, Mr. Chang was short of funds and Dr. Chang contributed towards the down payment. While this gained Dr. Chang a small beneficial interest in the property, it was not meant to be an outright gift to him," said the judge. Dr. Chang was the People's Action Party MP for Ulu Pandan from 1970 to 1984. He also served as Singapore's ambassador to more than 10 countries, including the former Soviet Union. Ms. Tan worked as a chartered accountant. In 2002, she gave up her career and moved to the United States to live with Mr. Chang, also a chartered accountant, who was posted there for work. The couple successfully balloted for the Pinnacle flat in 2004 or 2005 as their matrimonial home. In 2009, Miss Tan identified the shop house as a suitable property to buy. The shop house was rented out and the rental income used to repay the mortgage. At times, when the property was not rented out, Mr. Chang would service the mortgage. He paid the property tax for at least the past six years and reimbursed his father for income tax payments arising from the property's rental income. In her judgment, Justice Hu said the assertion that Dr. Chang dreamed of living in a shop house was not supported by any evidence. Instead, he testified that he had never stayed there and had no intention of doing so. The judge said it was very unlikely that Mr. Chang 
who was just starting out in his career and preparing to settle down with Miss Tan in 2009, would make such a substantial gift to his wealthy father. She said Dr. Chang's explanation that he had to contribute to the cost of his own gift because his son had underestimated the down payment required was unconvincing. Although she rejected the gift narrative, the judge said the deficiencies in the defendant's case could not be used to fill up gaps in Ms. Tan's case that the parties had intended for Dr. Chang to hold a shop house on the couple's behalf. The judge noted that in 2014, before the couple's relationship soured, Dr. Chang willed a shop house only to Mr. Chang. She found that Mr. Chang's financial contributions towards the property were his own and not made on the couple's behalf. She noted that for the Pinnacle flat, which was their matrimonial home, Miss Tang had made direct financial contributions of her own.